in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Linux on your Chromebook. Now, why would you want to install Linux on your Chromebook? Well, having Linux on your Chromebook ensures that you can install full desktop applications on your Chromebook, such as uh, VLC, LibreOffice, or a number of other applications out there with full desktop power. All right, so let's get into it. Um, start by going to settings here. So I have a shortcut here for settings, but you can also get to settings by starting the application launcher. So click on the search button or the everything button, and then just type in settings right there, okay? So under settings, I want you to scroll down up to where you see advanced on the left panel here. Now under advanced, you will see a section here that says developers. So click on developers here. Now under developers, there is Linux development environment. Now here you can run Linux tools, editors, IDEs on your Chromebook. So go ahead and turn it on, all right? So now a wizard starts, which will enable us install Linux. The installation will take about 400 MBs here. So make sure you have a good internet connection and then you also have some free space on your Chromebook, about 5 GB or so. Okay, so click on next, choose a username. So let's say dig, let's call it dig dev, maybe. All right, so here it says that the uh, disk size, this can be modified later. It requires about 10 GB of free space. Well, I don't have 10 GB, seeing as I have about 32 GB on this Chromebook. So I'm literally just going to go with as little as possible. Uh, the Chromebook, the Chrome OS has recommended about 5.6 GB, so I'm going to go with that. The more the merrier, but be aware of how much space you have on your Chromebook. Okay, so click on install. All right, so the installation process starts and Chrome OS starts to download a Linux virtual machine or Linux container. So a Linux container is basically a Linux machine or distribution or also commonly known as distros that are based on Linux. So the most popular ones is Debian uh, which Ubuntu operating system is based on, but you also have things like Fedora, Manjaro, uh, Linux Mint, and so forth. So the default Linux machine that is going to be installed on our, on our Chromebook is actually called Penguin, which is based on Debian, Debian operating system. So the installation process is uh, ongoing. I'm just going to speed this up, okay? All right, here we go. Uh, Linux has been installed on my Chromebook. It took about uh, three minutes or so. So I'm just going to issue a few commands here to find out what Linux uh, system we have on our Chromebook. So the first command I want you guys to try out is uname-r and this basically shows the kernel version that the linux container is running on so this is 5.10 and this is uh, literally i think close to the latest linux kernel uh, which is really awesome the other command that you want to try out is to check out the distro or distribution that this linux container is based on so just run cut to see and then release okay so you can see here that it is based on debian gnu linux all right bullseye right so this is our linux machine or linux container running on our chromebook and ideally this is uh, also the terminal or console you can minimize it down here and you can get back to it by simply clicking on this little icon here you can see terminal here all right now our linux container or virtual machine is running and you can shut it down right here 
when you right click on that icon you can shut it down you can get into the settings you can unpin and un unpin so let's just shut it down okay so now we are shutting down the linux container which is the equivalent of actually restarting your computer except that this is a virtual computer right so now linux is actually shut down okay now you can start the linux virtual machine by once again clicking on this terminal icon here All right and there you go you can see that it's starting the linux container it takes a few moments and linux is literally back up obviously this is not the way you're going to be interacting with linux but having the container will enable you to install applications and run some linux commands okay so with the terminal you can uh, you know make some tweak tweaks to the appearance for example if you want it darker if you want it lighter or if you want you want it to be this this kind of feels great for my eyes you can change the font if you want and basically tweak and customize the look and feel of your linux virtual machine you can also come here and change or set uh, some keyboard shortcuts i think the most popular ones the ones of concern for me are basically copy and paste and it's ctrl c ctrl v okay we've managed to install linux on our chromebook but if you choose that you no longer want uh, linux on your chromebook you can uninstall it anytime all you have to do is to come to settings once again come to advanced and developers and then you come to linux de uh, development environment and then it's the last option here you can see remove linux development environment just click on remove and once you click on remove then it will delete all linux applications and data if you choose to now you can also uh, change the disk size of your linux virtual machine right here uh, in accordance to how much space you have on your chromebook okay so in case you're running out of space you can resize other space or if you want more space on your linux machine then you can also increase it right there and then you can do port forwarding so this is really helpful if you're developing applications on linux so if you have for example um, a web server running on your linux container you can easily add ports so that users on the network can still access your linux application okay right so if you're using your chromebook to develop android applications you can enable adb debugging adb is android debug bridge which is an application or a set of tools that are used to develop android applications okay so just enable it and you're good to go the other things uh, you can uh, manage usb uh, devices like a flash disk you know if you want to access flash disk on your linux virtual machine you can totally do that from here and you can also share folders between your linux container and your uh, chromebook right here so this is really helpful for some applications like uh, gimp or um, Libra office and you have saved some documents on your linux virtual machine uh, you can easily access those documents from your host operating system which is chrome os right here so this is really helpful to create a shared folder for your linux virtual machine yeah so these are some of the settings that you can uh, configure and set up for your linux machine awesome so this is basically how you install linux on your chromebook 
in the next video i'm going to show you guys how you can install linux applications on your chromebook there are very many linux applications that you can install but for this purpose we, you can install integrated development environments these are basically code editors or tools that you can use to develop software apps websites and so forth uh, you can install LibreOffice, which is uh, an open source alternative to Microsoft Office or Google Docs. So if you want a uh, word processor that is going to run offline, then this is something that you want to install. So we shall look at this in the next video. All right. So stay tuned and we will see you in the next one.